For data-hungry India, the 5G auctions may herald another telecom revolution. It goes beyond super-fast downloads and uploads or glitch-free video calls, live streaming and real-time gaming. It holds the promise of utopia, from automated cars to robotic surgeries to an OTT explosion in Bollywood and beyond. It also may end the monopoly of telecom companies over telecom services, with private enterprises being allocated spectrum, a move that has already stirred a controversy. There will be teething troubles and more. 5G is the fifth generation cellular technology and promises to exponentially raise the speed and data capacity of wireless networks. Data is the new oil, as Mukesh Ambani often points out. In fact, data traffic is surging, estimated to be growing more than 60% every year. Now, 5G is tailor-made to handle this data explosion globally. Unlike 4G, 5G is capable of connecting multiple devices seamlessly and can handle a staggering 1 million devices per square kilometer. In India, 5G networks will run on mid and high end spectrum with speed and capacities over 10 times greater than the 4G networks. Now think about it, all the different generation of mobile technology ushered in a revolution. 1G made mobile voice calls possible in the 80s, 2G introduced SMS in the 90s, 3G made mobile web browsing possible in the early 2000s, and 4G made mobile video consumption possible on smartphones with high data speeds. Now 5G promises to usher in a world which almost sounds utopian. The 5G interface can connect practically everything to your phone through Gen Next technologies like the IoT and AI. From automated cars to smarter cities to cloud robotics and remote surgeries, 5G promises us the moon, bringing Hollywood science fiction thrillers closer to reality. In fact, it could be the big bang for OTT networks in India, transforming the world of entertainment, including the business of filmmaking in Bollywood. For the Modi government, it will be an opportunity to bring more Indians on board the information superhighway it has been crafting since 2014 through schemes like JAM or Jandhan Aadhaar Mobile, Digital India and Skill India. But there will be teething troubles. For telecom companies, the 5G launch will bring with it fresh existential challenges. They are just about rediscovering pricing power with tariff hikes over the past year, and both Jio and Bharti Airtel have been deleveraging and cleaning their balance sheets. Even Vodafone India is in the middle of fundraising to sustain operations and even bid for 5G auctions. But how will they monetize 5G swiftly over the next few years without bleeding their balance sheet further? The bigger concern for telcos is the government's decision to reserve a portion of its 5G spectrum for private networks. This move is expected to get a big thumbs up from businesses, from tech powerhouses to manufacturing giants to logistics companies and hospitals, even educational institutions. Any captive network will only be restricted to the operations of that enterprise, but already telcos are losing sleep over this move. Enterprises, after all, are expected to churn out 30 to 40 percent of 5G revenues. The matter has blown into a face-off between the Cellular Operators Association of India, or COAI, the body representing telcos, and Broadband India Forum, the representative of tech giants like Amazon, Google, and Facebook. COAI argues there will be no viable business case left for the telecom service providers if private enterprises set up captive networks. But really, captive 5G networks are now a reality globally with about 70 countries adopting this model including the US, China, Japan and Germany. In a way, in this era of convergence, Telecom services are no longer the preserve of telcos, but an important input for businesses. Can 5G then rapidly spread in India? Well, it may take a while. Telcos will likely price 5G services higher than 4G. 
In a price-conscious market like India, this could mean a slower adoption of 5G by Indians. And then, it remains to be seen whether there will be an adequate supply of 5G handsets in India to begin with.